because your body, your body, which is connected with your soul, knows what is the best thing for you right now, for your highest good, for the highest good of your soul, of your entire being, right? And so um, that's what I was showing uh, yesterday. And today we are going to align with ourselves. So the first thing you want to do is to drop into your body. You're catching this in the replay. Um, please write hashtag replay so that you um, I know how it's um, that you were here and see how it worked for you. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just drop into your body. So that means just, just by saying drop into your body, or you hearing drop into your body, you just come back. If you have been out there like meditating or something, come back into your body and just feel the heaviness in your body. Just feel the heaviness, the gravity, the gravitational force pulling you down because you're here. And every time I do this, I actually feel heavier. <laughs> like, okay, you know, parts of me were out there playing around somewhere. So yes, I am here now. Okay. And now the second thing we're going to do, we're going to do a little journey and I don't see anyone live here. So if you're coming late, <laughs> and of course you're not going to see this, but if you're coming late, just catch it up or just watch it from the, from the beginning for the replay, because this, um, this workshop today is going to be so powerful in helping you align. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of stuff here. And my magic drum wanted to come out and um, at the last minute he decided not to. So I was like, okay, no drum. I was really thinking and hoping that it was going to come out. Uh, I usually ma use my magic drum as it speaks to me and um, I used it a lot yesterday, um, but no, not today. Okay, so now we're going to um, just feel into your body and feel as to who you are, right? Am I okay with me being in my body right now? So just ask the question, am I okay? And don't look for an answer, just ask the question out loud, am I okay with me being in this body right now? I'm getting a yes. And how am I getting a yes? I'm just feeling like, yeah, of course, right? So it's like something that comes in your, in your mind, like a thought, right? Or like, what kind of a question is that, right? Whatever comes into your mind, it's, that's your answer, right? Whether you're getting a yes or no, or whether you are receiving a, another question like, what is this, right? It's okay. Now we're going to um, begin to travel. So we're going to travel back. We're going to travel back to um, the past, your past, your past lives. So we're going to just sit here or stand or, or lay down, whichever way you're doing this, and you're going to just um, begin to travel back. So we're going to, I'm going to count to 10. We're going to go down from 10 to 9, and you're going back to about 10 years back and then eight, you go another 10 years back, and another step seven, you go another 10 years back. And if you're in your 20s and you're like in the negative numbers, now you are already in your past life. Does that make sense? So just, just let it be and whatever comes into your mind, it's okay, so go back. Now you're gonna go back and they're telling me 20 years, 20 years back. So they're really wanting you to start going into your ancestral time right now. They really want you to be past your birth in this earth. So going past. And now you're going to go back 100 years, 100 years back. That was your sixth step. And now in the fifth step, you're going to go back another 100 years. And now in the fourth step, making the right, fourth step, 100 years. So we're back about... 350 years back right now. Good. Go down one more step to the third step. We're going to go down 200 years. And now you go down to the second step and you go back 200 years. And now you go down to the first step and you're going back 300 years. Now in this spot, just stay and see and feel anything that comes to your mind. What did you see? What do you feel? And just let it be. No judgments. Don't try to think about it. Just let it be. Where are you? Who are you? And so from here, we're going to ask the question. And here's the question. 
Am I okay with being this being? Do I accept that this being is also me? You want to align with that. You want to ask yourself, your body now, are you accepting this? Do you, um, do you believe that? Do you see yourself as this? This is so important because as we have had many, many lives, obviously we have been many, many things. We have been male, female. We have crossed over very young, very old. We have been nice. We have been evil, we have been good, we have been bad, we have been everything, we have experienced so many things. And so what may be coming up for you is something or someone that does not resonate with who you are right now. And this is important to recognize that, hey, this is also me and I am one with it because time does not exist. So present, past and future are all the same. It's all happening at the same time on different timelines, on different areas. It's kind of like lateral, right? It's kind of like different frequencies. You know, when you have that old radio that you turn the dial and you're listening to your music here and then you turn it to the other side, you have, let's say, a, let's say a country. I do like country, but I'm just saying. And I'm saying you don't like that and you're like, oh my gosh, you're like, that's definitely that, not what I want to listen to. And that's what it feels like with your lives. You're like, okay, yeah, no, that's not me. That's not who I was. That's not who I am. Yeah, so this is, you need to come to terms that this is okay, that it's okay for you to be whatever it is that you're seeing, uh, seeing feeling, or sensing in your past. Hmm. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves back. So you're going to bring yourself back and you're going to come back like 100 years, another 100 years. And at each 100 years, you're going to stop and sense, stop and sense who you might be at that time. Come back another 100 years. Let's see what you feel, what you sense. So every 100 years is about three generations. If you're going all the way back, it might be more. Maybe you're an animal. <laughs> I'm getting an animal now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, come back another hundred years and you're coming back. And what we're doing, why are we doing this? You're going all the way back. Something is like so far out that it's like, what is that? I, I don't even understand it. Now you start coming back and as you get closer and closer to the timeline that you live in right now, that we live in right now, you begin to sense things that are more recognizable to you, right? So you come back and now you are sensing who you are, sensing you, you might be sensing a type of personality, right? Like a sense of like the energy is the personality, like who you were, a sense of who you were. doesn't have to be specific as to like, I was this little girl with blonde curly hair, whatever, right? Like, it, not that specific. Although you may be receiving that as well. Okay, and now they're saying come back to about two hundred years ago. So that would be very, very recent. These are like your ancestors that you can probably look up with DNA right now. So you're coming back and feeling who you are, who you are, who you were about 200 years ago. And if you're doing this for the first time, if you've never done something like this before, and you're like completely lost, it's okay. And also know that we don't incarnate all the time. So sometimes one of these past life stops that we're doing, you may have been st um, still in spirit or in soul, right? So you may be out there. And if you're feeling that at any point, then you're going to feel this immense love and this immense acceptance in knowing like, 
really knowledgeable as to like what it is to be here on earth incarnating here on this planet so you're going to have this wisdom that you're going to be able to bring forward a lot of people who are waking up and are remembering who they were they remember these things things that they we bring from when we were um out of our bodies does that make sense okay hmm. so now they're asking you to come back forward to the time of your great grandparents so now during that time during the time that your great grandparents were alive they want you to sense who are you during this time are you is still in the same family are you still incarnated here on this earth or are you not what are you just feel into that and i'm doing this right along with you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay and now we're going to come back all the way back to the present to the present time we just went back so many hundreds of years ago feeling and sensing different parts of us and now ask am i okay with knowing that i am one with all of those past lives that i've had before and you should be feeling a different feeling that you did before a feeling more of understanding even if you have no idea what this is all about if you've never done this if you feel like I didn't get anything I didn't see anything I didn't feel anything uh, your subconscious is still doing it it's still traveling and so now you should have a different feeling um, and a better connection with you of who you are right now uh, with the oneness of you and all of your past lives okay so now you're here in the present, aligned, and I'm aligned, I'm aligned. And now we're going to start going to the future. And this is so powerful, guys, because as we know it and believe, the future hasn't happened yet. The future is changeable. Anything can happen. You can choose, you can choose to go this way and things will happen unravel for me if I take if I get up and walk on the left side of the table and if I get up and walk on the right side of the table different things will happen right and so because it's changeable and also because you know that time is not real and that all of these possibilities are happening simultaneously at the same time this is where it gets really interesting because this is how you can do quantum leaps this is how you can move on to another timeline and begin to change your reality okay so here you are in your present time and I want you to think of yourself about 10 minutes from now so just think what would I be doing in about 10 minutes okay and now bring that question is that me 10 minutes from now notice how easy it is to say yes to that like you can imagine yourself okay in 10 minutes i'm going to get up and i'm going to put my computer down and bring it upstairs i can see myself doing that you can see yourself doing whatever it is in 10 minutes so it is and so it's very easy for you to say yeah that's me right and your mind your brain doesn't know that it's that is real or not it doesn't know and so because it doesn't know if it's real or not it is it is real right okay and now and this way it starts to get really really good imagine yourself tomorrow tomorrow about this time about 7 p.m for me here on the eastern eastern side um just think and imagine what will you be doing right so just see yourself tomorrow 24 hours from now what are you doing is that you yeah it's me what are you doing what are you feeling okay and now you're going to see yourself a week later but here's the really cool thing because I'm going to teach you how to begin to change your life 
um, gear it to what you want, right? So you want to imagine yourself in something that you want to manifest. So you want to manifest something um, by next week at this time. So by next Friday at around 7 p.m., what is it that you want to have accomplished by then? This is very powerful, okay? So think of something that you really want. And then, even if you think it's impossible, but don't go for something like super huge, like um, I'm going to be living in a, in, a, in a beautiful, gigantic mansion, right? Because even though it could happen in the quantum, in the quantum field by changing, uh, shifting timelines, um, it's a little bit more difficult when we're starting out. So think of something a little bit less than that, something that you want that you haven't received yet and that you really want to create by the end of next week. And then just imagine yourself as you've already received it or manifested it or created it. Right. So let's say I was going to make a new painting and I haven't even started. OK, so now I'm going to um, visualize myself next week looking at this beautiful painting that I just created. It's done. It's completely done. And I can see what it looks like. And it's magnificent. And so whatever it is that you want, imagine you looking at it. If it's a thing, um, feeling it. Um, feeling into what it makes you feel like, right? Like make it really, really real. Let's say, so I'm just going with the painting because that's what I'm doing for me. So you come up with something that you want, right? That you want to create and that you know because of your um, busy schedule now that perhaps it cannot happen that quickly. So make it something that you know that you could do, but, um, or, or receive in somehow but it's a little bit stretching it, but not too much of a stretch, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so go ahead and figure that out. Think of what it is that you want and see yourself a week from today um, experiencing you having received that. What does it feel like? What are you saying? Who are you sharing it with? You do not need to know or figure out the how of how it's happening or how it happened. You just are basking in the moment of how it feels because you already have it. It is. It's done. It's done. There it is. How does it feel? Okay, and now align with that future self. Is that you? Yes, it's me. That's me. Yeah, I did it, right? Whoa, how does that feel, right? It has like a lot of energy, like, oh my gosh, I can do it. You feel like you did it because you have in another timeline, right? The future. So now we're going to align with our love energy, our center energy from our heart, and we're going to see ourselves a month from now, and we're going to see ourselves in complete harmony with every single human being in the world. We accept everyone, they accept us. We're all living in this beautiful harmony wave. So it's a month from now, I want you to see yourself loving and receiving love from every single being on the earth. So start to just share your love. This is you in alignment with every single person on the earth. You are sending your love. They're sending love to you. We are all one. We are all one. It's okay. Everything is okay. There is harmony on the earth. There's harmony among humans. There's harmony among the sexes and the races. There is harmony about every single disparity that exists right now, you are seeing the harmony happen. You are seeing everything and everyone as part of you. You're seeing everything and everyone as one. 
and now ask the question, is that me? Am I okay with that being me in the future? Yes, I'm getting a yes for me, okay? This is the part that the angels are saying is so important for you to, for you, not just you, but like us, everyone, um, to align with, to align with the beauty, the harmony, the love, and the oneness that we all are as one. <sighs> and now they're asking you to begin to breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. You can put your hands on your chest as you're breathing. And begin to feel your heartbeat. And as you feel your heart beating, every time it beats out, you're sending that poom, 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 that love out is your energy. You're sending it out and out and out. And every time it beats, it goes further and further and further. See it as waves around your body going further and further and bigger and bigger. And as you're doing that, you feel the heartbeat of the earth. And you begin to have your heartbeat at the same rhythm as the earth's. And now you begin to feel this vibration is becoming so much bigger and stronger as every single being begins to synchronize their heartbeat with the earth and therefore with you. And you feel the vibrations of all the hearts becoming one with the earth, becoming one with your heartbeat, your all of our hearts beating at once, at the same rhythm. And allow your ego to rest from the thinking, from saying to you, that cannot be, different hearts beat at different rates. <laughs> They're saying, stop, stop the thinking, stop your ego from telling you what it can and cannot be. Allow your heart to just beat at the same beat of the earth, all at the same time. We're all one with the earth. We are all one with humankind. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. Oh my god, and I just looked at the timer and it said 33 minutes and 33 seconds. So how does it get any better than that? Um, all right, so that is an alignment of you as a human being with the entire humankind population. What is that, seven billion people on earth? Um, maybe more, maybe it's eight billion people. I don't know. Um, Feeling yourself with a heartbeat and feeling yourself here in the now, in your past, in the future, all at once, all beating as one. This is an enlightenment for you to feel that and know that you are one with humankind and feeling the hearts together allows everything to become uh, one because you're sending your heartbeat to them as well. So they're feeling it the same way that you're feeling their heartbeat, whether they're meditating or not. You have the reach, is what they're saying. You have the reach. Your heartbeat is reaching everyone else as you're sending your love, as you're sending your heartbeat out. They are feeling it the same way that you are feeling it. 
and that's how you bring it all back to you in becoming one with the entire population of humankind and the earth if you like this i'll say hi you're here um if you're just coming in um we did a full alignment with humankind and if you're watching this in the replay just let me know let me know how it felt for you for me it was super powerful um it was completely channeled uh, my angels were telling me because i was thinking i told you before i was thinking of bringing the my drum and do some drum magic today and they were like nope 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 and i'm like okay and they were like we're just gonna channel through you so i said okay so i'm just trusting 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 this is very powerful let me know how it felt for you uh, on that note, if you are feeling called to work deeper with me in any way, send me a message. I'll drop the link there to book a free chat with me. Um, I have various ways of working with me, but if you are feeling called to join Beyond the Separation, it is still an early bird until Sunday. You get lots of freebies by then, um, and you save uh, $488 if you do it by Sunday. So uh, let me know. Don't be shy. Um, and I will talk to you later. I think I'm coming back on Sunday for live card readings, I believe. I just have to see how the schedule is um, at night. So, um, yeah. Let me know how this felt. Let me know how you liked it. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye.